If you plan to fly out of Knoxville anytime soon, you might want to give yourself plenty of extra time to make it to your gate. That's right. A big portion of McGee Tyson's long-term parking garage closed down today. WAT6 on your side reporter Naomi Hilmer joining us live now from the airport where she's been learning about the new garage expansion project. Naomi. Lori, Bo, as a response to the growing popularity of the McGee Tyson Airport, starting today, they have closed down a portion of their long term parking. Along with our community in our region, we are seeing continued growth here at the airport. We have celebrated almost more than 11 months of consecutive growth, and last year was our busiest year ever. Following their busiest year, the airport has decided to make some changes, starting with a six story long term parking lot that will provide 3,500 spaces. So in order to prepare for that construction project, we're having to close part of the long-term lot for construction. So we're taking away about 670 spots from inventory, and that is why we're opening a brand new economy lot C, which adds over 1,000 parking spots to our inventory. The new economy lot C is located at the intersection of Hunt Road and Tyson Boulevard, requiring a shuttle to take you to and from the terminal. We just continue to reiterate and recommend to give yourself, you know, come out to the airport at least two hours before your flight because that shuttle will add approximately 15 minutes to your travel experience. The garage expansion project is the first of many projects the airport plans to add as they grow with the community. So in the future, we also have a terminal expansion project, which will add more gate capacity to the terminal. So we're going to be under construction for the next few years, but it's just to elevate your experience out of Mickey Tyson Airport. And as you guys can see behind me, they haven't broken ground yet. They're waiting for all these cars to clear out before they can start. But they do say they are going to start construction in a couple months. In Knoxville, Naomi Homer, WATE, six on your side. Back to you guys. All right, Naomi, Naomi, thank you so much. By the way, the airport's website, flyknoxville.com, also has a real-time map. It's really good for you to check out the current parking conditions and see what they look like before you ever get to the airport. As you can see, both long-term and short-term parking is nearly at capacity right now, so make sure you get there as early as you can for your flight so you have plenty of time to walk or shuttle to the terminal from the economy lots, and we'll keep you updated.